It's Plush Tonight, showcasing the latest in professional spa treatments from Plush Medical Spa, Westgate Parkway, Dothan. With owner and medical director, Dr. Amanda Bell, board certified in internal medicine. Here's Dr. Bell with your host, Barbara Kennedy. Hi, I'm Babs Kennedy. Welcome to Plush Tonight. I'm here as always at Plush Medical Spa with Dr. Bell. Hello, Dr. Bell. Hi, everybody. <laughs> On this episode, we'll be talking about dermal fillers like Juvederm and Restylane, and you will get to see a real patient having filled place in her cheeks and lips by Dr. Bell. This is going to be good. I'm excited. I'm excited, too. <laughs> so remind us about the services here at Plush Medical Spa. Well, let me remind everyone that we're located at 548 Westgate Parkway in Dothan next to the Butcher's Block and across from Westgate Parkway. You can always find us on our website, uh, plushmedspa.com, and be our Facebook friend to find out all about our specials and um, any rebates or discounts we have going on. You'll be the first to find out if you're our Facebook fan. Here at Plush, we have uh, two estheticians, Katie and Rachel, who do all of our facials and skincare consultations. They do the microdermabrasion and the chemical peels. We also carry all Obagi Medical Skincare lines and Jane Ardell Cosmetics. In fact, we have the largest selection of anywhere around Dothan. We do manicures and spa pedicures here. We have a very nice nail room with a big screen TV, and we have free Wi-Fi throughout the spa. So you can bring your laptop while, and uh, surf the web while you have your pedicure, or just kick back and relax with us, and we'll take care of you. We do uh, face and body waxing. We, we wax all parts of the body, uh, including the chest and the back for men. We do legs and arms. We do eyebrow waxing, and we also do bikini waxing and Brazilian waxing. We have two massage therapists here at all times, and we try to hold two spots open every day for call-in massage appointments for people who need uh, special care right away. Um, we do Swedish, deep tissue, hot stone, uh, we do prenatal massage, and we even have a, a great couples room where we do couples massage and even couples facials. Um, I am responsible for doing the Botox and Dysport injections here, and I also do the dermal fillers that we're going to be talking about today. Those are Juvederm, Restylane, and Radius. And I also do Thermage skin tightening treatments uh, for tightening loose skin in the face and the body. I see patients to dispense Latisse for eyelash growth and Retin-A and other skincare medications. So we do quite a lot. Wow. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the dermal fillers. I mean, what are they? Describe to us about that. Dermal fillers are materials that are injected into the dermis, typically the deep layers of the skin, to improve the look of deep wrinkles and minor surface wrinkles. The, the main area of the face we tend to use um, dermal fillers on is the lower face. Mm -hmm. um, and the most common area to get filled is the nasolabial folds and the so-called marionette lines. Mm. Um, by and large, those are the majority of the areas um, getting filled here at Plush. Um, but another really popular area to fill is the cheeks for volume replacement in the mid-face. Barbara and I have both had our <laughs> cheeks filled. Mm. So we have um, great bone structure, uh -huh. which we know is actually filler but it can drastically improve the look of the under eye area and the lengthening that comes along in the lower lid from volume loss in the mid face. It also can improve the nasal labial fold area by pulling on the skin adjacent to the whole cheek area. Actually, it can lift up the whole bottom of it because when you fill this up, it starts to lift everything up, doesn't it? It does, and what most people notice, uh, aside from the fact that their, their face now has a nice V shape to it, is that there is thinning underneath the cheeks and then it gives you a very nice chiseled look um, um, under your cheekbones, which I personally never had before until injecting my cheeks. The other area that's very popular for injection is the lips. Most people only notice lip injections when they've been done poorly. When they are done well, they are uh -huh. not noticeable and do not look bizarre. There are certain simple rules, if followed, that will give you a very good result without having your lips look like uh, swollen sausages pasted on your face. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What can patients expect after the procedure, like the day when they had the procedure done? Well, first of all, do the needles hurt? Yes, the needles do hurt. So we do a so-called dental block, um, like the dentist does, with an injection inside the mouth to completely numb this area when we're filling the nasolabial folds, uh, the lips, and the marionette lines. Trust me, you want the block. <laughs> Getting the block mm -hmm. allows us to painlessly put the filler into your face or your lips. And while the block is the most difficult and painful part of the procedure, it is mm -hmm. very quick. It's over in the initial parts of your treatment. And so therefore, it's all downhill after the block. <laughs> the blocking material we use for numbing is lidocaine. Um, most dentists use epinephrine in their lidocaine, but we do not. We don't need it to last as long as the dentists do. And with using epinephrine, there's always a greater chance of side effects and uh, effects on people that are sensitive to that drug. So we use regular lidocaine and therefore when you wake up, so to speak, from the numbing process, uh -huh. you don't have that achy, strange feeling like you just want it to wake up already in the way you do most often when you leave the dentist's office. So what do you expect after the procedure? Is there bruising? Is, I mean, what would the patient expect after that? Most people uh, do not bruise mm -hmm. unless we happen to be filling the, the marionette area. That area is notorious for bruising. There are a lot of venous vessels coming off from the sides of the mouth near the surface. And so if any area is going to bruise, that would be the most likely. It okay. is possible to have bruising in any area, but the area least likely to bruise is the cheeks. In fact, when we augment the cheek area, it, you're, we don't even require that you have a block. The block is actually more uncomfortable than injecting the cheeks actually, without it. Actually, it is, because I tried one side with the block, and that, the block was what really hurt, and then the other side, I didn't do a block at all, and I, it was fine. You don't really need a block on the cheeks at no, all. No, I'm the biggest pain wimp there is, <laughs> so if I tell you you don't need a block for injecting your cheeks, you really don't. Mm -hmm. um, but afterwards, all in all, all patients included, all areas included, about half of people bruise. Now, if you tend to be a person who bruises, that bruising may be significant. Uh, if you tend to be a person who doesn't bruise, most likely you will not bruise from filler. Now, there are some people out there that are on blood thinners like aspirin and Coumadin, and uh, for very good medical reasons. It's not necessary for you to come off of those medications before having filler, but it certainly does lessen the likelihood of bruising if you are able to come off of those drugs. Certainly, that would be something you'd want to talk to your primary care doctor about before ever stopping any, any medication simply to get filler. Um, but mm -hmm. that being said, it's best to avoid non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Motrin, Aleve, any sort of ibuprofen or naproxen and aspirin before these procedures because they will make you more likely to bruise. After the procedure's done, how long, was, how long will it last? Well, it varies between the area that we treat and the filler that we're using. Um, the older fillers are made of hyaluronic acid, mm -hmm. and those are the Juvederm and the Restylane. We, um, we tend to use those fillers for the lips and the fine surface lines around the lips. Because they're made of hyaluronic acid, they're more of a clear gel and um, mm -hmm. tend to be softer and more flexible and more gel-like as opposed to the Radius filler that we use for deeper filling. Mm -hmm. The Radius filler is made of calcium hydroxylapatite crystals and lasts for much longer than the Juvederm or Restylane. Typically, when placed in the lips or the nasolabial folds and marionette lines, Juvederm or Restylane will last about six to 12 months, depending mm -hmm. on the motion of the area, how much you talk and smile, and how quickly you metabolize things in general. The Radius filler I tend to use for the nasolabial folds and the marionette lines, as well as the cheek augmentation. It can mm -hmm. also be used to um, rejuvenate the, the dorsum of the hands and we get very nice results with that. Um, the Radius filler um, is never used in the lips by and large because it's just too thick. It's more of a soft silly putty versus the, the gels um, that Restylane and Juvederm are. 
But to answer your question about price, mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to answer because the syringes come in different sizes. And um, so that makes comparing price per syringe a little bit difficult. But our price does include um, the numbing procedure, the dental block if needed, and any mm -hmm. post-care and follow-up appointments that, that you will have. Um, in general, the Radius, the thicker item, comes in a 1.5 milliliter syringe. That's roughly double the volume in a Juvederm syringe. Um, Juvederm syringes are 0.8 milliliters uh -huh. and Restylane is one milliliter, but the Radius is 1.5 milliliters. So of course the syringe is more expensive than the Juvederm or Restylane. A Radius syringe is $650. Um, Juvederm runs between $450 and $525, and the Restylane is $400. So the price per milliliter with Radius is actually cheaper than the Restylane and Juvederm. Restylane and Juvederm don't last as long as Radius, especially when placed in the dermis in these areas. The data tell us that Radius lasts at least 18 months, probably 18 to 24 months in most people. Um, so you're getting roughly double the time out of, out of Radius than you do with the other fillers. And it, like I said, it's thicker and tends to give a better result for especially deep wrinkles. Um, the Radius itself is uh, unique in that it stimulates your own collagen production while it's in there. So it irritates the fibroblasts, which are the cells that make collagen, to produce collagen like crazy, infiltrate around the filler to perform, um, well, pr to produce a lattice work around the filler and to hold it in place and to make it even more difficult to break it down. So not only does it last longer, it stimulates your own collagen production. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, it's, it's better for everything um, except for lips. And this is probably what they've do, been doing out in Hollywood for years, right? Now we have it in Dothan. Well, exactly. Uh -huh. It used to be that everyone injected collagen, and collagen um, is not the, the ideal product. It, it requires allergy testing in most people, and, and we do not do collagen injections here. Um, the hyaluronic acid fillers, Juvederm and Restylane, were a step up from that in that they did not require allergy testing. Uh, hyaluronic acid is a product that's present in your body and in your skin at all times. So it tends to be more compatible and have less likely for an allergic reaction. The Radius is even more so to uh -huh. that degree. The calcium hydroxyl apatite crystals are very similar in chemical composition to bone. And so they are biocompatible and um, don't require any allergy testing. And there's never been any incidence of granuloma or lump formation with the Radius product. Plush Medical Spa on Westgate in Dothan is excited to announce that we offer Thermage CPT skin tightening treatments for the face, neck, eyes, and body. Unlike older Thermage, the new Thermage CPT system allows patients to painlessly tighten loose skin in a single treatment session with no downtime. Tighten your neck and jowls or that tummy that was stretched by pregnancy with an immediate tightening effect that improves over the next three to six months. Call Plush Medical Spa today for your free consultation at 702-686. It should be um, quite tolerable. Okay. So when I combine these two here, it's very easy to mix the items back and forth together. So the numbing is going in, in the cheeks right here with the... With the filler. Okay. So that when the filler gets in there,